Hey everybody, this is Jim of Animated Educated, and I want to thank all of you for subscribing and watching all the interviews that are on this channel and making uh, our watch hours go up. Uh, we're right now we're at like about twenty nine hundred, uh, and uh, we need to go to four thousand. So we're getting there. We're getting there. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and. Uh, just want to get that out of the way. So if you don't watch any more of this video, you've been thanked. And uh, so now I'm going to get on to the video. Okay. Okay. So if you go to Animated Educated and you type in the word uh, in betweening tests, and uh, these are in betweening tests that I've collected, you can actually click on the test like so, and it makes a bigger version of it. And then you can actually go over here and uh, copy the image. And you could paste it into Photoshop. And I've um, I've designed this so these little uh, these little uh, hash marks here are for registration. So you can take each one of those and put them together, so that when you uh, put them together, they the image doesn't move around. Uh, you know, like that. It still will animate, but it it'll be be in registration there. Okay. And here's a whole bunch of these with uh, Bernie Keebler. This is from um, uh, Cal Arts. This was kind of a, a test showing different extremes. This was, I believe, this is from Disney that they would give people a uh, in betweening tests and have them kind of follow that chart to see how to make Merlin kind of move and make if that looked good, then they would uh, give them a job. I have some things about weight. So this is uh, from John McClanahan, uh, director at Animaniacs. Uh, he worked at Star Tunes. That was his company. And he came up with this showing uh, weight. And we both worked on something called Figment, which was an educational film for Disney animation. And um, this is a scene I did where it was a head turn uh, with lip sync. And then there's a whole bunch of different things you can download. This is a Daffy Duck scene where you can clean, do the cleanup drawings here. And then using that chart, you can, so you're going from that key pose from there to there, and you're adding those in-betweens. And today we're going to talk about this. This is called a smear drawing. And in this case, it's not a shape, but in this case, it's a whole bunch of heads. And it's really fun because getting from this position to this position is pretty extreme. And you don't want to pop it there. It looks a little odd if it just suddenly pops there. But if you add that kind of smear drawing in between there, it softens it. It kind of takes it from one extreme to the other like that. And then your character can continue on and doing its thing. I also have one here. This is another one for uh, Bugs Bunny. There are no smear drawings in this. It's a lot of nice acting poses and showing anticipation and follow through and all that stuff. Again, this is a very simple one with a Disney test where you're going from this uh, pose to this pose. And just doing that, there's a lot to this. I mean, his ears move, his jaws changes shape. You see his uh, neck is exposing uh, the background there. And uh, so all this stuff, uh, really good lessons in in betweening. Um, what I would suggest is just downloading each one of these, putting into Photoshop, like I said, lining up these... Uh, hash mark these uh registration marks so that functions is kind of what the pegs used to do and then um doing a cleanup drawing of this and then once you've done your cleanup drawings follow that uh chart go from this one to uh 09 which is this and make your first uh in between which would be 105 and then from that you can then break it down into from 105 to 
to 101, you'll get 103. And then you would get uh, 105 to 109 to get 107. And so you're, in this case, you're, the spacing on this chart shows that your jaw is moving at a, you know, kind of a, an evenly spaced amount. It's not uh, easing out or easing in, which is usually found on more of this stuff here. So this would be you're easing out from this one, which is a Bugs Bunny scene where you're going, you're speeding up the drawings. The, 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 the spacing is increasing as it gets into the middle so that when it hits here, and then we go from that one, that's an evenly spaced motion to this one. And all those are evenly spaced, constant motion. And then here you can see how you're favoring this one over here to get to, to the final one here. So you can visit animateducated.blogspot.com to see more of these in-betweening tests. And you can download them and try them out for yourself. Um, the main thing about in betweening is you're always trying to practice that. It's not doesn't come easy. Um, you do have to develop the skill and and your um, you know kind of it builds on itself. You know the more you do, the better you get. Basically, um, also I want to show you this uh, video here. Uh, this is from uh, Chuck Jones and uh, smear drawings with commentary by uh, Eric Goldberg. One of Chuck's early masterpieces was the Dover Boys, uh, where he really learned about clarity of timing and clarity of posing. We used to read the Rover Boys, Tom, Dick, and Larry, and I got so fascinated by the ridiculousness of it, but I noticed that every time in the, in the book, whenever they mention the Rover Boys, they say the, the Rover Boys from Tom, Dick, and Larry, and their arch enemy, Dan Backslide. The former sneak of Rookford Hall, coward bully cad and thief, and arch enemy of the Dover Boys, squanders his misspent life. Hark, the Dover Boys. <laughs> And the way that he would make the timing crisp is that he would go from one pose over here to another pose over here with what animators call smear drawings. So that he would take about three frames where he would establish one pose here, one pose there, and then smear all the way between both poses at once and then fold up into the final drawing. It was an unbelievable thing. It was one of the first uses of what people now call limited animation, although I prefer to think of it as stylized animation rather than limited animation, because the animation is still great. It's just pushing a pose for all of its value. Help! Help! Management didn't know anything about cartoons. They didn't know uh, humor. They didn't know creation. All they wanted to do was make money. Every so often, somebody would sneak through like the Dover Boys. Oh, the studio didn't like it at all. No, no, they didn't like the smear drawings. What was that all about? It sounded like they didn't draw it quite right or something. When he did Dover Boys, he caught hell from the front office. They didn't want that limited animation, even though it was great. Uh, they would tell him one thing and he'd do the other thing. That's the way he was. I got fired a number of times, but, but they didn't seem to take. I don't know. I didn't know I was fired, so I stick around. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode about uh, in-betweening and smear drawings. And if you did, you can press that button right there to subscribe. Or better yet, you can watch more videos. Here's one right here, and here's another over there. And we'll see you next time on Animated Educate.